Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create invoice using Microsoft Word. So we're going to start everything step by step with no steps skipped. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. My name is Timothy and in this lesson, we're going to do exactly this. Okay, so when I zoom in, you're going to see every part of this. I'll show you how to create this. So to so in order to start this, let's first set up our page. So I'm going to go to a new blank page and there's a page we're going to use. And first of all, we need to set up our page layout, the margins and every other thing. So let's go to page layout and we'll go to the margins. We're going to use narrow for this. And then for page size, we're going to set up a custom page size. Okay, so click on custom page size and over here, let's set up our width to 5.3. And our height is going to be 7.3. And then let's go to OK. Let's click on OK. So this is the page we're going to use. And we need to type the name of our company. If we look at our first part of this final design. We need to have the header first. That's the name of your company. So we'll go ahead and then we'll type that. So let's insert a text box in order for us to be able to move our text around anywhere we want to place it. So let's go and then go to draw text box. So I'll draw a text box at the top of it and then type Agiotech Solutions. So when, I, when this is done, all we need to do is to first increase the font size. Let's go to our home and then increase the font size to something very big. So let's leave it around 28. We're going to change everything to upper case okay so let's go to change case and then switch everything to what upper case and we're going to change our font size to something very bold so we're going to use a font size called impact so i'm going to i'm going to type that in my font and then hit enter so i'm going to get something bold like this and i think i'll increase the font to about 30 so you can type the 30 direct over there and then hit enter so I think I'm okay with this size and we don't need this line around it, this angle around, that's the rectangle. So we go to our shape format and then under shape outline, select what? No outline. Okay. So I think that is okay. We need to bring our logo. So we go to insert, go to image pictures and then go to device. That's this device we are selecting from our PC. So we go and look for the any logo you want to use. I think I have this at my pictures and I'll look for my logo. I think I have my logo down here. This is my logo. I'll just click on this and then open this logo and I can just drag it in order to reduce the size. But we want to move this logo around. At the moment, I will not be able to do that. So just go under wrap text, select that and then go to what in front of text. Once you do that, you'll be able to move this logo around. Let's resize it and then we can position this logo. So I want to place this logo just beside my company. So I'll put the name over there. I can move this to this side a bit. Okay, we can increase the logo as well. And I think this is okay. So we're going to type below Agiotech Solutions. We're going to type invoice over there. So basically, we just have to use a text box again in order to be to have some control over our text. So I'll go to draw text and I just draw this here and then type invoice. Okay, that is okay now and I'm actually going to increase the font size as well. So basically, just go to your font group and then pick something very huge. Go to change case and then let's do this upper case as well. And let's just position it anywhere we want. And we don't want the outline, so we're going to turn it off as well. Go to shape outline and go to a no outline. Then that is good. And then we need to provide our address for this particular invoice. So we'll go back, go for text box. We draw another text box. So let's draw our text box around this place. And all we need to do is to have the name of the location. So I'm going to type do do well. Then I'll type what Ghana. And then for my address, I think I have it here. So I'm just going to copy my email first. I'll copy my email and I'll paste it. I'll paste my email. I'll paste my email and then I'll also go ahead and also paste my website and then lastly i'm going to paste the contact number as well
okay so i have every details that i want to provide just select everything we want to close the space so go to home under paragraph just go to paragraph option and then we have remove space after paragraph then we click on that and we are good to go leave every other thing we want to remove the margin so as usual go to shape format and then when we have shape outline just click no outline that is what we want to do up to this stage and then now let me actually increase the logo a bit let's reposition this and we want to type in some few details if you look at our final work over here we have a space where we can type the name address and the phone number of the customer so we're going to provide that now okay so we're going to use a text box to do that so go back to insert pick your text box and then draw additional text box here and i'm going to say name and then provide some dashes for that just provide dashes where the person can type me and then also provide address so provide dashes space for the person to type that and lastly lastly it's going to be what it's going to be phone number so just provide dashes the space the person is going to type that and we are good to go so that is all we need for this stage and we don't want the outline so let's just go and then remove the outline so there's no outline for that if you check my final work i just provided some shadow for that if you want to do that this is how to go about it just select and then go to shape outline and then under sh shape effect select shadow we have the shadow option and there are several shadow options you can select from so i just pick this and you can see how this is going to look like okay and finally going to provide the space for details for the client so we're going to have the number item name quantity unit price and then amount okay so we're going to provide space for that and in this case we're going to have we need to have our cursor down here just click over here and we go to insert and then our table we're going to have five rows and then columns that is all we need just click on that and let's resize this let's move this to be in line with our logo and this side is also going to be in line with our address so something like this is okay and from here that is a second row just drag it down all the way to something like this and we are good to go okay so i'm actually going to zoom in a bit so that we can see what is happening so for now we're going to say we're going to reduce the space for the number and increase the space for the details so we're going to have the amount of by the unit price yes and do we're going to have our unit price over here and then the quantity is going to be here so for the name of the items you need to provide a big space for that so let me go and type the details over here okay so i think this is good up to this stage we can select everything and we can bold it if you want to provide some font for people to be able to read through then i think this is okay up to this stage okay so what we want to do now is over here i think we can just drag this to the top a bit yeah so that we don't have additional space so i think this is set and we want to match this entire cell let's select this together and i'll go to this that's a table design and then under table design we also have another tab called layout go to layout and then go to what match cells so we're going to match these cells and we want to type amount in ways and then you're going to type amount in ways and i will provide some space for typing or writing that so just use the dash cheese and then provide that space okay so i'm going to reduce i'm going to reduce this so that it will be on one line and 
increase this a bit i want enough space between or select everything go back to my home tab and then under paragraph i'll provide some 1.15 spacing i think that'll be enough click on ok and down here we're going to have total then we'll have tax if there's any tax you provide it then we're going to have ground total here so let's just see gene total which means ground total and i think our invoice is almost set and down here we want to put in some few information over here for the customer to be able to sign we want the customer to be able to sign as well as the manager's signature so we'll provide that at the bottom of this so we, as usual we're going to go to insert and i'll pick a text box for that we'll draw our own text box down here and then we're going to use the underscore to create our space so hold on shift and press underscore continuously to get this line Count down and then you type customer signature so that is what we need we need to center line everything select everything go to the home tab and we'll pick center line and we don't want the space too much space so we we'll use the paragraph option and go to remove space after paragraph and i think this is set okay this so this is going to be apostrophe s okay and then this is good let's copy and then paste so select everything you can just go to you can just go to copy and then we'll paste it back so this is going to give us a duplicate so this is going to give us a duplicate just drag it to the second position and i will change it to manager's signature okay i think everything is set now and we can just go ahead and then also remove the outline from this so i will use i go to shape format and go to no outline that shape outline and then we'll do the same thing for this so now everything is set up to this stage if you want to change the background of this particular paper you want to use a different paper background you can just go to design and then under paper color you can select any paper this is how to create a simple invoice using just microsoft web remember to subscribe and wait for more there's so many things i'm going to show you right here on, here on this channel in order not to miss any of that remember to like share and turn on the notification bell for more thank you so much for watching this short tutorial till i come away again bye bye